Hey guys, um, if you're not aware, my name is Melody. I am a quality control chemist and artist and vlogger. And I just wanted to start this vlog off with a little bit of an update. Um, I've had some stuff in the works and I wasn't sure how it's gonna work out. I'm still not really sure how it's gonna work out, but I just wanted to talk about it and then we can move on. So today is Thursday. I think last week I was approached by a parent from my church asking if I would teach her child how to draw, which then opened up to the whole do I charge? Because as an artist with family members and friends, it's really hard to be like, yes, I will do that, but I need money. I feel bad asking for money, but 2019, I want it to be the year that I finally stand up for my art and charge. I don't need to make money off of art. I have a full-time job, it's fine, but it is something that I do. I have sold pieces before and stuff like that, and I feel like if I'm valuing myself and my art, I need to charge something for it and not be doing work for free all the time. It hasn't been a huge issue, but there have definitely been times in the past where I probably could have charged, but I also don't like confrontation, so I don't like having to say, you know, I'll do this, but it's a so many dollars per hour fee or whatever. Anyway, my church does a homeschooling program and sometimes classes are taught through that. So I was talking to my mom, she brought up the fact that I could do an actual class of kids, teach them art and charge so much per month. And honestly, I really like that idea. So I approached the lady who's kind of running it and I think we've reached an agreement for what we're gonna do, but it needs to be advertised and I need to make sure I actually have kids enroll. So I don't know 100% if it's actually gonna happen. It depends on if kids are interested and if their parents um, want to pay the money, but I think it's reasonable. It's $100 for three months, two lessons a month, and they're each two hours long, and I'm providing all the supplies for the kids. So I'm buying their pencils, a pencil box, erasers, all of that stuff. So the parents don't even have to worry about going out and buying supplies. So I think that's pretty good. I remember when I was taking art classes in school, a lot of times we had to go out and buy stuff and sometimes you're at the store and you're like, I don't know what brand of pencils I need. So I will be giving all of that to them to make everything easier. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I think it's a lot of fun. I've learned through doing Sunday school and junior choir that I really enjoy teaching and honestly that was kind of my backup plan. If I couldn't make it in the sciences or something, I wanted to do art and teach potentially. So now I guess I'm getting the best of both worlds maybe if this works out. Uh, another thing that I've been thinking about lately and honestly it's something I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, not just like recently, but in the past, it's just never been something I've been able to do, is going to like small festivals. Obviously, I'm really small artist. Not a lot of people know about me. I have 33 subscribers right now. L like, nobody knows who I am. So I don't want to do anything big like a con. Uh, also, that just seems so overwhelming and there's so much traffic. But there's some really small little art festivals and craft fairs and stuff in the area. So I might try to do one or two of those this summer. Um, I think I'm applying this week to one. The booth is only $100 and it's for three days. So I, I'm not going into it with the mindset of I'm going to make money. I'm going into the with the mindset of I want to see if this is something that I enjoy doing and would like to do in the future. And if I make money, great. Uh, do I expect to? Not really. Hopefully I can at least break even because obviously I have to make products. So I'll be actually doing um, like original pieces. That's the word I'm looking for, original pieces. But then I'll probably also do some prints and definitely some stickers and whatever I don't sell during the festival will go on my Etsy shop. Uh, some of the stuff might have a test run on the Etsy shop before the festival itself. I just ordered some stickers from Sticker Mule, I think it's called. 
because they're having a really good deal. So I figured I could test out their quality. I designed something last night. I have an idea for another design. And the thing is for the application for this festival, I have to send them pictures of what I'm selling. So I called the lady today because they said everything that you're selling. If you don't have a picture, you can't sell it, which seemed really dramatic to me. So I asked, I'm like, hey, I'm an artist. I'll probably be making stuff up until the point of the festival. Do I need to send you a picture of everything or can I just send you enough to get the gist of it? And she said, just send enough to get the gist. And they also had a clause in it that everything had to be handmade. Um, and that you can't, no like resale items. So I wanted to make sure that it was okay to do stickers and prints because while I am designing them, I am buying them from another company that is printing them and producing them. So I wanted to make sure that that was okay and everything like that was okayed. The only thing that I feel weird about is that you send in the $100 check with the application, but they said that they'll just rip it up and not cash it if you don't get a booth because it is juried. So there's so many people, they're looking at it and they decide who makes it and who gets a booth and who doesn't this year. But I used to work on the street that the festival is on and I remember it being really small. So the lady I worked to, she... Or, the lady I talked to, she said that they're trying to vamp it up, make it bigger, and get new vendors, like fresh blood in there. So hopefully I'll have a better chance, but I feel like I really need to make more products. Definitely before then, but it's in August, so I have time. I have several months, but I do want to get at least a couple more things made so I can send in pictures of some more recent, like, uh, projects just like give them because I, I have some old stuff that yeah I'll probably bring with me but I want new stuff too and right now for whatever reason I just feel super inspired to just draw and paint which is really hard when you work 40 hours a week because I'm sitting at work and I have to do my job but I see post-it notes and pens and I just want to like sit there and doodle and honestly I do sometimes um, I've been looking at a computer screen for two hours and my eyes need a break so I'll take a little break and I'll do a doodle on a post-it note and I'll stick it in my sketchbook. That's actually how I came up with the idea for the sticker that I want to draw tonight. Um, yeah, also my Etsy shop is closed. Not permanently, but I, I just haven't put anything on it in a while. I haven't touched it. I haven't done anything with it. So I wanted to close it so I could update it. I want to update the about section. I want to update pictures. I want hopefully I can get it to have a more cohesive look so that all the pictures like maybe I could put them all in a similar frame or something just so that it kind of flows better and I also want to get new products on there so like I said I just ordered a bunch of stickers one design but you know stickers so and I want to put those on there um I also I just I want it to look nicer and I want to put effort into it so the deadline I'm giving myself is April 1st We'll see if I meet that deadline. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of work to do with all this stuff coming up, but I'm really excited. Uh, this year, well, before this year started, I really, this was the year that I wanted to do stuff with my art. And while I did start this YouTube channel before, and while I've kind of put stuff on Etsy, and I've sold a few things here and there, and I've put some stuff on Redbubble, it's not something that I've really been able to give a lot of attention to because of school and personal circumstances. So now that I feel like I'm at a point where I can come home, I can draw, I can do this stuff, um, I just, I want to put my focus and my attention on it. Obviously I have church and Sunday school and choir and I have all that other stuff too. Maybe I'm crazy and I just can't sit still, but I finally just want to go for it, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I've always had to put my art on a back burner and even, I mean, I have a 40 hour a week job, so it's not like our art is taking over. It's not like I'm going to quit that job anytime soon to pursue art. I just really want to be able to do something with it. So these are my first steps doing it. If you have any ideas or any like know of any small festivals in the area that I might be able to apply for, the thing is I just want it to be cheap to get in because uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell anything. Like I don't know how it's going to go. But this one that I'm applying to is in Marysville. So 
if I get in, I'll definitely tell you guys the dates and where it's at and you can come say hi, maybe buy a couple things, that'd be great. Um, anyways, I think that is everything I have to update you on. You'll see the sticker designs eventually. Honestly, I don't know when. Uh, <laughs> I might show you later in this vlog, so stay tuned just in case I feel like doing that. But yeah, you might not see them until the Etsy store is back up, so that would be April 1st. Um, or if you follow me on Instagram, I might post a picture when this order comes in. They say it's gonna get here next Friday. So we'll see. <laughs> That's really fast, like a little over a week. So if it gets here next Friday, I'll be really happy and it'll be nice if I do this festival because I'll definitely print through them if they're gonna be fast and if the quality is really good. So yeah, I think that's everything I have to tell you guys for now. Hey guys, I'm in the car. I got coffee after work because I'm so tired. Also, um, I just bought this portal gun. I'm so excited. I feel like a child and there's people walking by my car. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I would feel really awkward when I'm vlogging my car and it's kind of a busy parking lot and people are just walking by looking at me like I'm a crazy person. But that's okay. I'm excited for tomorrow for Comic Con and I have a big giant gun. I might get a little annoyed having to carry it all around everywhere, but it's really cool. It's huge. I bought batteries for it because on the box it says it needs C batteries, which I know I don't have at home. And I was waiting for the lady that I bought it from on offer up in a Starbucks that was connected to a Safeway. So I just ran in and grabbed batteries. I'm gonna go home and then test it out, see how it works. I'm so excited. <laughs> she found her new friend. Cute. <laughs> So as long as you don't mind being on film. Yeah, it's oh. probably just gonna be our hands pulling stuff yeah. out of this box. So I'll just look fabulous and like I'm, you know, part of this, but <laughs> not actually. Part of this. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a more oh, this is a signs. box. It has Pokemans on it. Pokemans? Because I want to annoy people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Do we do we dare peek in or do we just reach? How about we don't look? We just grab things out okay. as we go. Okay. So. Oh, it's shallow. Who goes first? Melody, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so cool. Yes. That's pretty cute. <laughs> huh? I will, I will. Okay, blind, blind grab. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I hear creakling. Ooh, wait. This is better. better. <laughs> okay. Yes. I dare you to wear those to work one day. I'm going to wear it. Please. I'm going to wear all three. <laughs> <laughs> Steal a hat okay, from me one day. if this guy likes yeah. Pokemon or not. It's a wallet. Ooh. Ooh, what's it say? Keep oh. calm. Oh, calm, calm and perpetual. Nice. I don't use these kind of wallets. So that's okay. <laughs> that's there... I mean, like, it's, like, it's, it's I, I don't know what I'm grabbing. What is 
I don't. Oh, is it like a card? Holder? It's a card case. It looks like a card case. Yes, it's like yeah. yeah that's, so cool. that's awesome. Oh. I could put business cards in this. Or if I get a boot. Yeah. I have a case that holds cards and dice and all that jazz. I don't know how many things are in here. I don't either. We'll just keep on grabbing until we run out. A belt. I was like, it's a seat belt. I'm like, oh. Oh, but it's the. It's the Evie Lou That's awesome! The... <laughs> you can wear all yeah. of these at once. I feel like and that's a like nice Oh, yes. That's cool. Slide. Okay. Oh Maybe. <laughs> that's just, just a little. Oh, what? what is Lanyard. It is a lanyard. Oh, oh it's on the balls. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. What is the pink one? I don't even remember. Do you know what this one is? Do you know what this one is? I'm completely uneducated when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, what is it? What's the pink one? Or this one? What are any of these? <laughs> these are all new. Yeah, okay, I don't know if there's anything I else. I don't. I think it's empty. I think it's empty too. Yep, it's empty. We're empty. Wow, there's Wait, a lot more works. like wearables than I thought. I know. We have well, an entire I mean, outfit. Oh, and <laughs> don't sag. So hang your suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> this has been it is much more like, attractive. Fashion advice with Melody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this glorious it's belt. Great. Like, and, and you've got like a nice belt, which is nice. Cool. Like, yeah. I like yeah. it. Not in the middle. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it works. And then there's this hat, <laughs> which is very <laughs> yellow. <laughs> Is this your new work outfit? <laughs> no. This is going on YouTube. Oh. No. <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube. I'm not anymore. I'm I forgot to uh, end this vlog and I'm, oh, there's a blue stick. Um, and I'm trying to edit now so I can get it up hopefully Wednesday because I don't have an art video to upload. So maybe I'll do an art video Sunday. We'll see. Anyway, as you saw, I got new markers because at the Copa stand they were only $4 a piece and in craft stores they're about $8 a piece and normally at the con I think they're $5.25. So it was a really good deal. I also spent $50 on comics. I love this one. I bought the first one last year at Comic-Con and I waited to get these ones because the website they were being sold on, one, didn't recognize my address, and two, I wanted to get them signed by her. So thankfully she was there again. If you haven't heard of her, go check her out. Her art is amazing, the comics are amazing, and it is a finished series. So if you start reading it, you can binge read them all. Anyway, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.